legislative IQ. Increase your legislative intelligence with Florida's policy, budget, and campaign monitoring service. Subscribe today at legislativeiq.com. Fighting cancer is personal for Beth Ann Lesnikowski. I have 17 family members who have been affected by cancer. All of these people have lives, have families who love them. And we do very well against breast cancer. We don't do very well against things like lung cancer, which is why the tobacco prevention is so important. Pass the buck! Les Nikoski took her fight against the disease to Florida's Capitol Thursday, along with about 100 other survivors and patients. They called on the legislature to raise taxes on cigarettes. An estimated 43,000 people in the state will die this year from some form of cancer. Representative Richard Stark is sponsoring a bill that would add another dollar surcharge to a pack of smokes. Maybe they won't do a dollar a pack. Maybe they'll do 50 cents a pack. But do something to raise cigarette awareness. We're trying to get more and more people to quit. There's currently a $1.34 extra charge for every pack of cigarettes sold in the state. The Centers for Disease Control says the extra tax on the nearly 3 million smokers in the state could contribute 500 million more bucks for Florida. Even still, House Finance and Tax Committee Chair Matt Gates is hesitant. Florida has one of the lowest youth smoking rates in the country, and we should be very proud of that. Right now, Florida's economy is growing, and this is not the time to raise taxes on the middle class or anyone else. Data from other states indicates that a higher price could reduce the amount of adult smokers by nearly 100,000 people. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Matt Gelka.